alchemy, the alchemical transformation, while of course there is a, a, a strong theurgia, a strong practical aspect of it, but it is a myth. Now, of course, some of you may have been indoctrinated by newspapers and other horrible things, uh, saying that a myth is, is a lie. A myth is something that isn't true. A myth is truer than physical truth. A myth is even more true than intellectual truth. And maybe with our motto that HPB and Colonel, you know, they took it, I believe, from the Michael will either beat me up afterwards or agree with me. I think they took it from the Maharaja of Benares or Satya Nasti Parodharma. My Sanskrit is bad, uh, but you see that there is no Dharma higher than truth. Now, what is that truth? Is it a, is it a teaching? Is it a doctrine? Is it a set of commandments, of rules? No! What is it? It is the authenticity of being. It is the, uh, uh, the reality of uh, the truth beyond earthly truth. And one of the main manifestations is that little truth, of course, that resides within us. But uh, that truth has been expressed throughout the ages, in India by the Puranas, uh, in Tibet by uh, various myths, in the West initially by the Greeks and so forth, in mythic form. And we are, and as I said, every manifestation of the esoteric tradition has its myth. Uh, and that myth, again, it's, it's not not an intellectual thing, but it's something that is trying to tell you uh, something ineffable that cannot be told really effectively in any other way. We mentioned Freemasonry a well, while There is the myth of Hiram and various other things. Everywhere there is a myth. The Christian religion, there is the myth of Jesus Christ, primarily, and others. Uh, and these are not falsehoods, but they are um, uh, a tale told about mysterious things which you cannot really effectively convey in any other way. HPB knew this. Um, there are all kinds.